Hey everybody, Grimer here, coming at you once again from Valheim Plus. And I'm here at our community blacksmith area. Uh, Cory moved in nearby us in the last episode, as well as Corathorn. And we're all living on, if you pull up the thing here, we're all living right here on this little area between these rivers right here. This kind of looks like a weird, like, little demon horn peninsula. Maybe that might be the name of it, I'm not too sure. But as you can see here, I've actually got some uh, smithing going here. We got, uh, we can automatically, uh, craft things in this mod pack, which is kind of interesting, because we can just put wood in here, and it just automatically does its thing. It just takes it out of the chest and does its thing, and then it will automatically put it in here, and, which it's already doing, so you just automatically put the stuff that's in this chest over into that one. It's just automatically cooking the stuff. It's all automatic here, so let's just go ahead and add that in here, because we're gonna probably need some of that to be, uh, smelted up as well. And all this metal in here is actually the stuff that I collected so far. Uh, the other guys, I don't know what they got going on, but they're welcome to use this too. This is a community area. Because the uh, workstations, the, the charcoal kiln and the forge, end up uh, taking things out of chests, we decided to build farther away from our base so that it wouldn't just draw from our chests. <laughs> Can you imagine collecting a bunch of wood and storing it and having it all roasted up in a charcoal? That'd be brutal. So we set up this area right here, and if you can see, it's actually right here. Now, Corthorn's base is somewhere over here on the on the shoreline here of the river, and then uh, and then Cory set up somewhere over on this uh, shoreline too, and then I set up down here on the coast of the bay. So it's kind of right in between all of our bases, and it works out pretty good. Now, not everybody is as far along as this is, or as, as we are here, you know, with the smeltery and stuff like that. So, uh, Flues Maker and... Uh, and Nebris needed a little extra hand clearing out a crypt, so I went and helped them out a little bit because I'm the muscle. You can tell because I'm wearing a chef's hat. I'm clearly the muscle. So check this out. Mm. This this fog is hell, though. Holy cow! So this In the is the interest Grand, of saving time. Grand's I'm gonna run through the woods over to you guys. Hi, Nebris. <laughs> is that is there a person? There's there? a person here. Hi. So this is Grand's base. Run through. Yeah, the, it right. might be Tinukins, but I think Tinukins only has a foundation. Oh, it's so she in this field too. Yeah, like you're not gonna see anything in this. This fuck. Found it. <laughs> oh, is it clearing up? I can see things. Hey, all right. Why is there a bunch of de deer heads and stuff in the ground? <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Is this like a message a, to Gran? There's a present. Here, hold on. Let's just throw it on her bed instead. Oh, well, hopefully she yeah. gets on in an hour. Well, she's not going to get this probably, message. Probably not. All right. Well, I think uh, we we can see just enough to uh, head up. To actually go do this. Come on, skeletons. Got a cape. Yep. Oh, uh, you got a, a small boy coming after you, Grammar. All right. There you go. You've got uh, carrot seeds right over there, the little white bouquet. No, you bring a light source. Kugan thinks he can tell me what to do. Nero! <laughs> Jenkins! <laughs> well, to be fair, there was no plan. Well, look at Grimer with the, the top level strats. Hmm. There's some things that sound like scary. Oh yeah, they're getting wrecked. Is it a ghost? I don't know if it's a ghost though. Yeah, it, it is a ghost. Bounce. A couple of ghosts. Oh no, it's just one ghost. Ow. Ow. Is it spooky? Ow. Oh, that's that's three of them. That's a lot of them. Ow. Where are there three of them? Ow. Ow. Oh, wow. You were waiting for me, you Go stealth with. Star skeleton. Veg this or the elder? Yeah, that'll tell you where the elder is. Which we already do know a couple locations of it. 
So how many uh, circling cores do we need? Uh, Minimum five to get going, but ten would be good to actually build both a smeltery and... Right, a, I don't think we'll find uh, 30 circling cores in here. Though you already have some. Oh yeah, yeah, I don't need them. I'm just here to help clear these things up for you guys. <laughs> That way? Nope, not that way either. No, this is a straight up dead end. Doesn't sound like one. Yeah, they're crawling through the walls, don't worry about that. Um, I don't remember how to get out of here. Do they know yeah, our the, fears? Uh, oh, yeah, they definitely know our fears. The hammer is pretty damn useful uh, oh, yeah. in these quarters. Yeah, it is. Are you guys ready? <laughs> two scar, two star skeleton. Oh yeah, they, they can be kind of fun. Oh yeah, I uh, I need to go. Ow. Where are you going to be going? To heal. Skeleton ah. down. Alright, so there's a bunch of certainly cores in here, and I believe you get two every time you pick them up, too, so... Yeah. It's two per uh, per thing, so I, I personally now have four certainly cores. Alright, I have... ten now. Wow. Yeah, there's still... What, six more it would be if once those are all picked up. Yeah, grab them all. I they only stack to ten, them. but yeah, you got you guys split them. I got I got plenty. I'm here. For, I'm just the muscle. I'm I also taking treasure when I find it <laughs> on the paid muscle. Yeah, I think we've we've done that dungeon. That's all, folks. Uh, I believe it is. You clear the, the path straight forward, then, Luz. Yeah, I mean by straight, it, I mean it just. Uh, it turns immediately. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Any any strikers? Grammar does not I've already trust went you. over there. No, I mean sometimes there could be a like a, a hidden corridor that someone doesn't spot, but oh god, they're like ripping the me apart here. in here. <laughs> no, it Lisa, I think, I think you got it. They are tearing me apart. <laughs> oh hi, Mark. <laughs> tearing me yeah, apart, I think Lisa. That's all. Well, there. You guys got your circling course. So how many did you guys get in the end? I only have four. And I have six for you. Yeah, oh, yeah. so there's, there's your ten. You both got your ten. Oh, nice. I think we're done. Dungeon cleared. I mean, I suppose we could check if there's another, but I think we're done. We, we've got what we need. We should probably leave some for Gran and Tinukin who are There's nearby. another mushroom right there by the tree. I thought you were about to grab it. I don't know. I, I got some mushrooms. I mean, I will. Oh, I don't have enough don't wood it. for a crafting station. Yeah, I'll grab it. Uh, so I need to find copper and tin. Well, you're in the right spot. So tin is going to be found by the water, uh, lowlands, and uh, near the coastlines and stuff. Oh, there's thistle here, too. Get rid of those things. Copper is going to be, yeah, right here. You found it. It's going to be big chunks of it. You had to mine it all up. I'll also grab a little bit, too, while I'm here. I am running out of inventory. Yeah, your yeah. inventory fills up real Go fast. Go away, Hugin. As far as weight-wise, this, this metal is really heavy, so... It's, no, like, I think it's, it's mostly an issue of resin, I guess oh. I don't need. Yeah, you could probably pitch that. Feathers. I mean, I can always make another hoe. <laughs> so disposable. True, but I mean... An experienced hoe. Hard to come by. Mm -hmm. This leather is actually pretty easy to get. This, Oars there, before oh. <laughs> <laughs> That should be a t-shirt. Uh, we, we got some gray dwarves coming. Oh, oh man, he's bad. <laughs> <laughs> him out of the way. Rock salt? Yeah, that, you get Your that from mining here. Salt. I don't know, I'm thinking it has something to do with uh, cooking. Oh, there's a copper node right on the edge of the mountain. <laughs> To build a smelter, we will need circling cores. Oh, if only we had circling cores. I'm hearing wolves. I'm getting out of here. They sound pretty close. That's that's wise. 
I mean, I could get them. I just don't know if it'd be wise. Oh, here's another uh, uh, chamber. We should probably leave that one for Gran. Let's get rid of the skeletons. So she can get some uh, certain cores mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm thinking I'm going to store my stuff in uh, chesticles and call it quits. Why is he pepper? Mm -hmm. That's it a spice, the spice. The ball. Mm -hmm. Which was, what was uh, Jennifer Lopez's great hit? Are you implying that she only had one? Are you implying that she had one at all? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the one that goes like, uh, taco, 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 oh, burrito, burrito. There is a troll. <laughs> I want to get that troll. I need the, I need the skin. Right, let's put the certain cores here, the bones there. Mushrooms like this here, and put the rock salt here as well. The seeds here. All right. Troll dead. Do a little repair job. Hey, free stuff! Hey, that's my stuff. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it. looked yeah. it looked free. <laughs> so I basically that's just stuff. planned on, on making a, a kind of a rotunda around the maypole. It, I should try to center it more, though. I'm probably gonna bring all this down and you know, might first. reconsider where my base is, given what I need from this forest. Yeah, because I just keep finding these piles of meat and deer heads. <laughs> Must be never that might you be here. for me. Oh. Uh, I, you, they're the first things to go, like the the meat I can't cook yet. Uh -huh. I tend to dump because yeah, inventory space is at a premium. And yeah, I understand. We we need the inventory girdle and the carrying stuff girdle, and we just need girdles. The first uh, episode of by Grimer is going to be uh, out tonight. That's probably not true. In about 45 minutes. 100% false. He's lying to you people. <laughs> <laughs> Just recorded it. <laughs> yeah, see, there you go. In fact, this is probably going to be episode done. two, which you're watching right now. It's going to be episode two. <laughs> and um, when can uh, anyone catch your next uh, stream on uh, Twitch, uh, Nebris? I have no idea. No idea. At some point in time. We are look, well organized. <laughs> <laughs> when when you can watch our content, don't know. <laughs> just go yeah, hit the and, bell. You know, if, if you subscribe to the, uh, to, just go to the Twitch the uh, channel, then you'll know when uh, <laughs> Nebris goes live. And you'll be able to watch. There you go. <laughs> All right, now starting the run, a long run home here. Nebris here. Let's uh, meet up for a second. I'll give you the Ichthyr power. How do you activate that? Uh, oh, you press F. F. But uh, once yeah. somebody gives you, you can hold on to it. Yeah, you don't need stuff. to if, uh, if, if Grimer does it for you. Ah, uh, fun stuff. But we got more important things to do than clear up crypts right now. We got to make some more bronze, all right? So I want to make my, my bronze axe, actually. That's something I really want to get built here. So let's go ahead and make a bunch of that stuff here. And we can make the bronze pickaxe. I don't really care about that. What am I missing for the bronze axe? What, what don't I have? Oh, wood. I'm just missing one piece of wood. That's kind of that's kind of uh, embarrassing. All right, I live in a forest, so you think I'd actually have one piece of wood. Look, there's a branch laying on the ground. Let's just grab that. All right, got it. All right, let's make the bronze axe. I'm going to go ahead and craft that. I'm going to skip the bronze armor, to be honest. I don't really think I need it, especially since I'm going to be rocking the troll armor. And I think that does, let's see, like, like the bronze uh, plate does eight defense. And uh, this uh, tunic here does six. So it, it doesn't do as good a defense, but I think it'll hold me over until I get to, like, making, a, you know, like iron and stuff once we get to the swamp. I'm pretty sure the troll armor will carry me the rest of the way. Which means I can save on collecting as much bronze, and I can actually start using it for tools and, like, nails and stuff like that. But making the axe is important because we need that just so that we can make, uh, just so we can chop down these birch trees and get the fine wood. Now, I have been collecting some fine wood by doing the sneaky little rolling logs into it thing, but it is nice to actually finally have this nice metal axe and go over here to, like, one of these birch trees that's down and just do damage to it. Oh, that's so satisfying. Oh, yeah.
But the bronze axe is not the only thing that I'm able to make now that I've got uh, some bronze. I can also go ahead and make the cultivator, so which means we can get to doing some farming. Now, while I was running around in the black forest collecting some copper and tin, I did manage to find... What chest is it in? Not that one. Right there. I did manage to find these spicy peppers, which some of them I've turned into seeds already. So we have uh, apple seeds, which we can grow apple trees, which I think is awesome. We have some spicy pepper seeds, and we have some carrot seeds. So we got uh, quite a few things that we can get to, uh, get to growing right away. Uh, this is, of course, my starter shack, which I do have a tutorial on how to build. It always turns out different every time I try to build it. I don't follow it to a T, but, I mean, it uh, it's kind of the same thing every time, except for sometimes it's a little bit bigger, but it always works. It always works. But we need to find a nice spot to pick out uh, uh, for farming. Now, I do want to build, like, a harbor in that right over here, so I don't really want to use anything near the water's edge. So we're probably going to have to go a little bit back into the woods a little bit and find a nice, nice spot to actually set up a good, healthy farm and maybe an orchard, too. How about right here? Okay, now I did a little bit of work here on the landscape just to kind of make it nice and flat so that I can actually get to doing a little bit of farming here. And it's just behind my house here in the woods a little ways. I kind of like keeping it a little bit more woodland here. This tree, though, might need to go because that kind of doesn't really work. It kind of is like sticking out of the ground right there. I'll fix that later. Uh, all right, so first off, we got to build a fence around this thing so that baddies don't come up and just bash on the crops. So uh, I think they moved them into miscellaneous now, so we're going to get a fence around here completely... And that will hopefully keep the bad guys out of here. There we go. We got a nice little pen here to start growing some crops. Now, let's get the cultivator out here. We're going to have to till the soil here or cultivate the soil so that we can actually start growing things here. And then I think I'm going to start with carrots, actually. And I got these in the Black Forest when I was... Uh... Well, look at that. Oh, there's actually... Look at the mod. Look at that. We can actually plant these things perfectly apart now. That is awesome. Look at that. Whoever came up with that mod is a genius. All right, well, the carrots are planted. Now, I can also go go and grow some other crops, too, but I'm just going to start with carrots for right now, and then we'll see where that gets us. Making some carrot soup, I think, would be really handy. Now, I do want to clear out this area over here as well, because it's relatively flat. It would be good for farming, too. I could even set up another farm here, growing some other kind of crop. Kind of tempted, but I do need to make an orchard. I do want to make more get more apples. And I have 10 apple seeds. I can always make more. I have another 13, 17 apples on me, and they're pretty easy to find. So I kind of want to make an orchard. I guess I could make that up the hill a little bit closer to the blacksmith also. That way anybody could use it. Yeah. All right. Let's just stick to farming. I'm going to create another plot right here. Okay. We got one built. There we go. We got ourselves an extra farm here. So we got our carrots growing there. And the only other thing that I can grow at the moment other than the, the apple trees are actually these spicy pepper seeds. So why don't I actually get to planting these things? I don't suppose I can actually get that cool grid to appear again, can I? Oh, yes, I can. That is awesome. I'm so happy that that's a thing. Okay, there we go. I got all of them planted in here. Look at this. This is incredible. How long does it take? Uh, one hour only to grow these things? Wow. Okay, so this doesn't take too long to actually grow them. How long does it take to grow the carrots? Am I, is that about the same? Oh, it's about the same. Okay, so it's about the same as any other crop that we can grow. So there we go. We got a field full of spicy peppers, and we got a field started of carrots. How about that? So the only other thing to grow, then, would be the orchard, which we get... I, I want to plant, like, ten of these trees, at least, you know, someplace. Someplace nearby. And since this is where all my farming is going on but, uh, back here, I want to kind of put it, I guess, close to this. I, I was thinking about putting it up by the blacksmith, but now nah, we'll keep it close to home. Um, an orchard, hey? I don't really want to terraform the landscape too much. Not as sharp as, like, what I did right here. Um, so if I could find a flatter spot, that would be ideal. One of the flattest spots that I got is actually right here on the coast. And I know I don't want to build next to the coast because I want to build a harbor there, which I can build right over there. If I build it kind of closer towards where Q's setting up over down this way, then I guess he can use it as well. And it kind of looks like there's a flat-ish spot, like right there. Maybe, um, where, where's Corthorn's base set up? He's, I think he's set up right here. Yeah, this is where he's building. So I don't want to be, be too close to him there. But I want to maybe build it in between my base and his base, and that way we can both use it whenever we, we're online. Now, I do not know how far apart these things have to be, but I'm thinking right here will do fine. Maybe I'll actually remove these trees in the background here. I thought they looked pretty at first, but uh, they're, they're kind of in the way. And I wouldn't mind having a nice view over the bay also, so let me quick chop these down. But I don't know how far uh, apple trees have to be placed apart for them to grow. So this is going to be kind of a guessing game. All right, got those pesky trees cleared out. However, I'm noticing that this is kind of red. Like, I can't actually place this anywhere. Oh, you need to cultivate the soil. Okay, so you need to cultivate the soil to even grow apple trees. Interesting. I wonder if I can plant these things and then change it back to, like, grass after I'm done. Because I kind of want these to just be growing on natural grass instead. 
All right, apple trees. Let's go. Boom, right there. Oh, they can be planted close together? Wow, okay. I wasn't actually planning on doing that. I mean, I guess if they work, that'd be great. Let's actually separate them up by about two. We'll just do two for right now. There we go. They are growing. They're going to take a little uh, over an hour and a half, or about an hour and a half to actually grow. Oh, I don't feel rested anymore. How about that? I think maybe putting a little fence around the outside of these things. I don't know if animals are going to eat these or bad guys are going to eat these or not. I guess uh, I don't really want to find out, but I'll put a fence up for now, and then uh, maybe we'll take that down once they're mature, because I don't really see them wrecking them then. But uh, for right now, we'll, we'll do this. And with them planted, I think that's going to be the end of this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, please go down and smash that like button. It would really help me out a lot. Really do help me, uh, it really would help me get uh, noticed with the YouTube algorithm and all. So, thank you guys so much for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode. I will be back with more Valheim Plus in the future, so stay tuned for that. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and bye bye